title you guys you guys know what's going on already um and i'm so sorry to have kept it from you this long um he's actually been here a week um he arrived from oklahoma a week ago tomorrow so on thursday Younger boy. <laughs> but i'm sure you guys understand this was a very difficult secret to keep but i did keep it for good reason um the timing was just really really weird with everything going on and um but i can't help thinking everything happens for a reason foxy you are not teaching him good things everything happens for a reason and for some reason this boy was meant to fall into my lap hi you're a goofy boy um i know you love those puppies but they don't love you back <sighs> and yeah but here he is this is my new yearling <laughs> You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a sweet pea, huh? You is a sweet pea. Tell me this thing is not huge. <laughs> I think he already likes being in the spotlight. Back up, you cow. <laughs> they can't see how huge you are if you're sticking your nose in there. Okay, you stay there. No, that's not. Back up. Back up. Oh my goodness. So, for reference, Foxy is 15'3. Um, and Foxy is also 22. And this guy over here, they have, they actually have the same birthday. Um, so they're both born on March 3rd, 22 years apart. They're both <laughs> goofy as can be. Yeah. Yeah, he can be. And he's just been settling. Wow. And I've been getting to know him. <laughs> oh my gosh. And he has been giving me the smiles that I so, so desperately needed. You too, Foxy. And Foxy just loves babies. That's why he's in here with me. Um, and it was his dream come true to have a baby. So, no, don't bite the baby right on right here. Um, so, his registered name is Foxy. You see the camera? Registered name is Iron Avenger, which if you recognize the iron, he is a cousin to Diesel. So they both have the same grandsire, which I think is natural iron. Um, and so far they have the exact same personality. So when I found him, I was just casually scrolling Facebook that morning and I thought someone had posted baby videos of Diesel. And so I kept watching and I like looked at it, whatever, it was like five o'clock in the morning, I was exhausted. And I looked into it and I saw that it had the same grandsire. Nemo, why are you eating turds? You're right in front of me. You know I don't like that. Um, anyways, so, ah! <laughs> so, and Foxy also got a boo-boo on his face. That's what that thing is. He got dirt in the medicine. You are, you have no idea how big you're gonna be, do you? Back up. Um, he is, ridiculously goofy hi foxy you want the spotlight now yes ridiculously goofy yeah you are he's got a little bonk on his head where's your little bonk it's healing though he's got a little bonk on his head um but he was a very good boy for the holler and it was one of those things where um i thought like i i, I started talking as a joke like oh my gosh like the last thing we need is diesel's cousin and they look so similar and 
then it just so happened that a friend of mine was having a hauler go out to the same area like two days later and the price was right and I was like shoot a baby horse would really make me stop crying right now <laughs> um so then without asking my trainer or anything I bought a baby horse so um she loves me right now but it's okay she loves diesel so she's gonna love him too um I'm calling him Duncan because he looks like a Duncan and that way I have big D and little D and I call him Dunky Donut because he's a donut. Can you back up please so they can see your handsome little face? Your handsome little face even though you got a bonker on your head? Hi Foxy. Foxy loves him. This is his baby now. Please stop licking me. <laughs> um, anyways, he's as sweet as can be and honestly <sighs> My biggest worry with announcing this was, <laughs> I'm not scratching you. I should not be letting you do this, but you just want scratches. Anyways, um, my biggest worry with announcing him was obviously people being upset about replacing Elliot or whatever. That's never going to happen. Elliot was one in a million and replacing that horse is just not something that is even possible remotely or something that I want to do. But... But that being said, I'm I'm learning to enjoy just the, the slow process of, of bringing horses up. And Elliot is the one that taught me that I love babies and I love <laughs> raising young horses and watching them learn and, and showing them all the experiences in their lives. And it just, everything just fell into my lap. And I don't know, I just felt like he was my horse and he had to be with me for a reason. It was actually something that Something that Elliot, um, the lady that we bought him from, when I announced his death on Facebook, she commented this very, very sweet comment, and part of it was, that horse was meant to be with you, and I just, I just felt the same way with this guy. He was meant to be here. He was meant to be here. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And I love him so much, but no, no big, giant, firm plan. Um... <laughs> I just want to take it really slow with him because I have a feeling he's going to be massive like Diesel. Um, yeah, you go be Foxy. <laughs> you go be massive. I think he's already like 14 too. We tried to measure him. Um, so we might have a little, another dinosaur on our hands. Foxy, are you having a good time? Um, he hasn't met Diesel. I mean, they Diesel and him have met over the fence so far. Um, but... I'm waiting for him to really settle before they go out and play because I have a feeling they're going to go play really, really hard. <laughs> you guys keep bonking heads. Um, so, but yeah, he's really stinking cute, as you have seen already. Um, I'm obsessed with him. And a lot of people were asking when I first started to reveal this if um, what I purchased was a relative to Elliot. And he's not related to Elliot um, for two reasons. Number one... First of all, I wasn't even looking for another horse, let alone a baby. He just kind of, again, fell into my lap. Um, but I just, I wasn't ready to go there. Um, that would have been really pushing it on my just healing with everything. And, um, you know, I just, there's so much mystery and curiosity left in what happened to Elliot. I just wasn't ready to go through that again. Um, and I don't know, it was just, that would have been a little bit too close for me. I just love him. Baby horses. You've got crap all over your face, too. My horses are gross. Someone groom them. Um, but anyways, ow, did you just adjust your neck on me? Um, yeah, so. I have a feeling this is going to go south really, really quickly.